number formatting has always been an important part of any Excel spreadsheet. They help you, as the user, better differentiate between the different kinds of numerical values in your data tables. This helps you avoid confusion and the occasional, oops, that wasn't supposed to happen. Knowing how to create custom number formatting in your spreadsheets will help you become a more accurate and more efficient employee. In this video, we're going to be talking about some custom number formatting tips to help you in the workplace. I can already hear what you're saying. But why do I need to know this? Doesn't conditional formatting already exist? And you'd be right to think that. Conditional formatting is a really neat and great tool that enables you to create conditional formatting rules in just a few clicks. You can check out our blog post on this for more information. But knowing how to create custom number formatting rules allow you to create formatting for your tables in a way that pre-built conditional formatting rules simply can't. Let's see how we can format negative numbers to be inside a pair of parentheses, turn zeros into dashes, and add conditional colors based on numeric values. In this table, we have some sales figures for the different months. Suppose we want to adhere to the accounting standards and place these negative numbers and any new negative numbers inside a pair of parentheses. We can select the whole data range, even extending it farther below, or better if you created an Excel table for this. And right click, then click on Format Cells. In the Format Cells dialog box, head over to the Number tab. Go all the way down into Custom and it's here where we can create our custom number formatting rules. In the area below, we can see that there are already some nice presets, but for the beginning Excel user, they might seem a little bit confusing at first. We can see the default type is general. That basically means that any number value in that cell will be formatted as general. We can copy this general and paste it three times, separating each with a semicolon and no spaces. This is the general form of the custom number rule. The first general is the number formatting if the cell value is positive. The second one is the formatting rule if the cell value is negative. And the third is the format rule of the numbers if the cell value is zero. Keeping this in mind, all we have to do to place the negative numbers in parentheses is to place the second general inside a pair of parentheses. Additionally, if you also want to format how the numerical value is presented, you can replace general with the hash symbols to add commas or set the number of desired decimal values like so. Next, we want to add color. I know this might be easier done in the conditional formatting pane, but might as well brush up on it since we're here. Let's go back to the custom number formatting box. To add the color red to our custom formatting, we can select the area after the semicolon and before our negative value, and enter in a pair of brackets with the word red. Click OK, and our negative values are now red. You can type in any color you want as long as it's accepted by Excel's color palette. I'll leave a link in the description to a reference that contains accepted colors by Excel. Lastly, let's talk about turning zeros into dashes. For some reports, maybe some people don't want seeing zeros in your report. And let's face it, Dashes are more aesthetically pleasing to look at since they're more uniquely identifiable 
than all the other digits you have on your table. Basing off our newfound knowledge on the structure of the custom number format, we know that the third portion of the format is for zeros. So we can go ahead and replace general in the third portion with the dash. Let's click OK to save our new formatting and there you go. That's another addition to your Excel toolkit. If you've got any cool ways on how to format numbers in your spreadsheets, share them with us in the comments down below. If you found this video useful, please do leave a like and make sure you're subscribed to Simple Sheets for more Excel tips and templates. I'll see you on the next one.